Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, I said we were going to start this part with Uzume's scene. So obviously, we're we're gonna do that. Hmm? Who's that over there? <gasps> wow, it's Uzume! Wow, we long time no see. And I like your tattoo. Hey, if it isn't Nepsy! Yeah, sorry I haven't been by to visit in a while. Do you folks at home know what time it is? Yep, you guessed it, it's snack time! <laughs> Just kidding, it's introduction time, here I go! What? Fine, I'm gonna wait, give me a second, I'll just put my snacks away. There we go. This girl is Uzume Tenoboshi. She has a fiery heart. She's so passionate and always stands by her friends. It might be surprising, but she's a daydreamer and has a very girly side. She tries to hide it, but sometimes it just comes out. And it's ever so cute. I didn't know you were beta testing too. <laughs> Let's make a party together. If only. If only. Ah, sorry, Nep. I can't go on this adventure with you. I'm trying to play solo so I can boost my stats. Really? You're a solo player in an MMO. Ah, classic Uzume. You're so cool. <laughs> if you change your mind, just call me. She won't, because it hasn't happened in the Japanese version. There's no DLC to play as Uzume. Not yet, at least. You got it. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. Oh, and tell Gearsy I said what's up. Okay. Yep, sure thing. I know I'm going to be playing solo, but if you see me around... Don't hesitate to come say hi. Okay, see ya. Oops, see ya. Oh, I expected more from that, but I'm I'm basically gonna say that yes, this takes place in the main series, and it has to be after Mega Dimension at this point. So there we go. We've we've pretty much figured out where it where this fits. Now it's it's weird that a spin-off title would fit into the main series, really. I mean, I don't mind that, it, it just feels a bit... odd. Yeah. Anyway, so who do we start with? Let's start with... let's start with Pico. Neptuna! Oh dear. Whoa! Is that a wild Pico in my blind spot? Phew, I'm glad this was in-game. Pico's tackle is a strong as a pro wrestler. If this was real life, I'm sure I'd be grimacing from all the pain. Neptuna, step right up. Huh? Don't you mean welcome, Pico? You don't want to want people to think you're working a carnival. Is Pluty napping right now? Is that why you're taking care of the shop? Nope. Plute's shop's over there. Peace shop is right here. Huh? Your shop? Well, I expected that to go on longer, obviously. P takes shiny things instead of money. Ooh, well, I can relate to that. I do like my shiny things. Hmm, a bartering system, huh? You can take anything as long as it's shiny? Shiny rock. This rock is transparent, and I guess it's kind of shiny despite being made of cheap material. Hey, what about this gold ring? I just got it. I think that was from Sonic, wasn't it? Hmm, I'll trade you this for that shiny. Acquire the water of life. Whoa, hello. Oh, a nice recovery item. In exchange for a plain old rock? Sounds good to me. I'll trade this for the shiny ring. What's this? A grass material item? The store price is just five bells? Bells! That's what the B stands for. Thank you, Nep. What? Why? Isn't this ring more expensive than the rock? Buddy of mine is an expert on shiny things. Maybe I should call him over here. Is it? 
I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm trying to describe it in my head, and it's like the sentence isn't forming if you hadn't noticed. It's quite weird. It's just like, I, 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 I don't know. We had the tea scene a, a little while back, didn't we? And people made mention of like, like, maybe they added that because of the whole, like, tea thing that I have going. Maybe that was added. I was like, nah, it's just coincidence. But there was that little, little bit in the back of my head that maybe, maybe it is possible that was added because I like tea. I highly doubt it. But now they're going on about shinies? I like shinies. This is weird. He likes this shiny more. That's what it comes down to, doesn't it? I can't say I like it, but I guess it is your shop. I'll bring you more shinies as I find them. Thank yous. Thank yous. Do you very much. Thank yous. So we got a shiny shop? Oh, I, I was pressing X to see if we could go back into the sh shiny shop. But no, we can't. Right, so let's go with Clutie. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. Oh, Plutia, before I go, have you heard the rumor about the pond? Rumor? What is it? I've heard that if you throw an item that's important to you into the lake, a spirit will appear and grant you a wish. Oh, I see. Yes, just a rumor, though. Uh-oh. Yep, she's heard it. Triple dotting. Are you heading out, Peachy? Be careful, okay? Yeah, we know where she's going. Oh, there was there's nothing more to that. Okay. Who's the me? Hmm. It's really bothering me. Like really, really, really bothering me. I feel like I'm gonna lose it. I mean, I heard about it after all. What? A spirit. In the pond. Oh, oh, all right. Uh-huh. It's living in the pond, and it can grant any wish you want. Just one, though. I've heard that setting the conditions that it setting the conditions that it appears in is very difficult, though. We've been here a lot, but we've never seen it. So she's trying to do that now. Okay. I regret making my character the way I did. What? What does that mean? I wanted to dress my avatar up in cute clothes, but in the end I just made it look kind of like I already do in real life. No, you got that awesome tattoo! The spirit that grants wishes. I think I'll have it do a little work for me. You gonna change your appearance? Maybe you should go with like a dark blue scheme. That might be good. Um, Nothing else around. Alright, let's go with blonde because Nep popped up very late at the end of the previous part, didn't she? So, let, let's go with Blan. I guess it's just you and me today, but this is kind of a rare combination, indeed. Perhaps I should try out that one thing, since not many of us are online. Blan, I wish to practice the controls a little. Could you please input some commands together with me? I will send the commands in a separate window, so please move as instructed. What? Uh, um, sure. Now then. Oh, I like that. I mean, it put me down already. Yeah, it's like, it's clear that... Oh, there's Tamsoft down in the bottom right. Just notice, I was looking at the characters in the background. Yes, it's like, you got to look for the details, haven't you? And you've got the minstrel as well there, you can see. I don't know who the other two characters are on the left, but I can't really see it. We'll, we'll have a look at the CG later, actually. We'll, we'll get on with the scene. We'll, uh, we'll go to the gallery and get to see who that character is behind the speech bubble. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> now I can carry blonde bridal style. I'm sure she would never let me do this in real life. No, she'd kill you. What the hell? What are you doing? How do I get down? Huh? What you having fun over here with? You too? I didn't know this command existed. Wow, Blonde's being carried by Vert. Wowee, Blonde's like a princess. Sparkle! Blonde's the princess, and Vert's like the prince. Huh? Hey, Vert, people are standing to 
starting to gather. Staring to gather? Yeah. Starting to gather. Put me down already, damn it. Ah, oh, do not be so cold. Just a minute more, okay? Ah, oh, this, this, this is so embarrassing. I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, stopping already. Well, we saw something super rare at least, so I think it was worth it. Even if it has to end so quickly. I don't recognize that character at all. Right, uh, oh, I, I do like that character though. That design, Ray's Dead's design. Very, very nice. Very ni I just noticed there's a sword in the top of this cathedral. So it's going to be Excalibur or something, isn't it? Right, so, cathedral. Welcome gallery. To the cathedral. Oh, that's all the way down there. Yeah, but the, the uh, can I zoom? Yeah, I can zoom, can't I? Oh, hello. Zooming on the, all the wrong places. This character here, middle-ish, just away from Blonde's bum. Very, very detailed. Got sort of like a key going on in the hair. The guy has no face whatsoever. No face whatsoever. And if we look down here, you can clearly see this Tam Soft in the bottom right and the minstrel. It's weird you can zoom in, but it's like it clearly can't, you can't go lower. But if you zoom out, you can clearly see Tam Soft's pink thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it represents, but yeah. I, don't, I, I, I suspected that, protect you. indeed, that Blan would not like that. Right, so, Nepsine. Hey, did you know? If a girl character in an online game has Ri or Ru or Fi in her name, there's a really high chance it's actually a guy playing. What? Why? I've heard of this before. I believe they refer to this as the... The law of re 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 What? How straightforward. Maybe the nuances in those sounds have a feminine quality about them that guys are attracted to. I mean, I... In, in MMOs, I've generally played as female characters just because they look better. Generally, they, like, like Bert was saying, they get more customization. There's more fun to play around with 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 those characters, but uh, my character names were Calippo and Cappy. Doesn't really fit that rule though, does it? Anyway, uh, it's pretty interesting to think about. Ah, Noir. What? Noir? Huh? What is it? Small possibility exists that Noir was actually a rather effeminate male. What? Black hair, twin pigtails, sundry. Hmm, all of a sudden, my head kind of hurts. D don't say something so stupid. I'm not a guy. <laughs> um, are you sure? Having one feminine male in a story is more than enough. We are not so heartless as to rob you of your identity, Noir. I already, already told you, I'm not a freaking guy. Oh dear, oh dear, a bit, bit too defensive there, wasn't she? Right. So, let's actually look at what we got to do then, because clear clearly, clearly, we're meant to head on out. We've not got any more open up, so maybe there's a Be new area to go there. to? Doesn't seem so, does it? So, if there's not a new area to go to, but I've still got quests to do, I'm actually going to not end this part. I was going to say, in my head, I was like, I'm going to end this part here. It's like, it's, it's been like 11 minutes. We're not ending this part here. I'm going to make a cut and go get loads of these quests done. Because that's clearly what I need to do. So, back in a second. Either with an event in a dungeon, which could happen. Or, back in town in Wishwell with the quest done. There we go, then. I managed to get all but one of the quests done. Because one of them, I, I don't have a clue where to get it. Like, where to get the items that I need at all. No idea. It doesn't tell you on like the little description as to as to where it could Finish be. The quest, huh? Yeah. Good job. Yes, yes, it is. If you have a look here. Like, oh, there's new ones. So night stance. Yeah, it says that. Oh, we get a philosopher's stone. That's a resurrection item. But we need to defeat the blit mate. So it's like that that giant on the mountain you defeated last time came back even stronger. I'm sure he's looking for revenge. Why don't you go to Logi Mountain and battle him? I You've suppose the quest. I will. It's just repeating the stuff I've already there. done. That's what it feels like at the moment, where it's like, go back to hello, hello, to where you've already been. Basically what I was going to say, but let's, let's have a view of this event here, obviously. Oh, I, expe I expected more. She's got... I, 
I, d I didn't expect that name, but alright, it's a black cat princess. Um, may I have a, have a moment of your time, yeah? Oh, hi, it's you. You're the one we met earlier in the dungeon, right? Wow, I'm so happy you remembered me, Nya. I know this is sudden, but Princess would like to request something of you, Nya. You have a request? Yes, Nya. So this, like, really doesn't matter a whole lot, and it's super trivial, but... Can you stop wearing twin pigtails? No. Excuse me? Hmm? Did you not hear me, Nya? Ahem. <clears throat> Please stop wearing... I heard you already. I don't really um, understand why you're asking me to do that. Oops. There, Princess goes jumping ahead of herself again, Nya. How silly of me. I have to explain properly, Nya. The twin pigtails hairstyle is reserved for heroines and princesses, Nya. The thing is, Princess already has twin pigtails, so... We really only need one set of twin pigtails on this server. Don't you think so, Nya? I humbly request you allow me the honor, Nya. Bow. Oh, I hate her so much. But I'm not trying to be a princess or anything like that. Besides, aren't we free to use whatever hairstyle we want? There aren't really any rules. Nya? Yeah. So you won't stop? But we're already both using similar color schemes for our outfits, Nya. Yeah? Oh, wow. Well, I can see the crazy in her eyes. I don't think I should talk to her one-on-one -on -one like this. I think what I probably should do is run. Hey, um, sorry, I just remembered I had something really important I need to go do. See ya! Uh, where are you going, Nya? Why won't you listen to Princess's request? She left, Nya. Oh, how horrible, Nya. There you are, Princess. I've been searching for you. What? Your eyes are filled with sadness, and those drooping ears. What happened? Please hold your head high. Such a defeated look doesn't suit you. Um, um, you see, I had a small request from another player, or for another player, Nya. Yeah. So I told her my request, but they didn't listen at all. They were so cold, Nya. Yeah. What? Who in their right minds wouldn't listen to you, princess? Curses. Who would dare harass my princess in such an awful way? Kerya, no. Uh, what's, what's with those eyes? All right. There is no need to blame anyone else, Nya. Princess will be perfectly fine. Oh, how gallant of you. I swear I will protect you for as long as I live, so please, don't let go of my hand. Kiria, thank you, Nya. Oh, dear. Oh, hello! Who are you? I don't know who you are, but you have a set of goggles, therefore you are awesome. Goggles and an eye patch. Yes. I'm... Butonia? One of the royal geists. I'm not as smart as Bouquet, but I can fight. You look like you've been in a fight. Hello! The salesman is back. So let's go speak to the salesman. Oh, it's blonde this time. Wanna buy some items? I don't really have time for this. I'm busy. If it's more time you need, this item would be perfect for you. Yeah. Why don't you at least take a look? Tonight, Ra oh god, Raigiki Books is announcing their first selection results. I'm busy spamming F5 in another window. I need to know the results. I can't stand it. Raigiki? Oh, that newcomer novelist award? You can leave that for later. The results won't change whether you look at it now or later. Recognized as a commercial writer is my biggest wish. It's what I've waited, f waited for, yeah. Wanted my whole life. I'll be leaving now. You're not a very good salesman, this person, are you? This isn't a good time indeed. Right. Yeah, then they're, they're not good at all. They're kind of terrible. Is that it? There's no more scenes or anything? There's like, there's... Nothing more in the guild? Well, I guess Welcome if there's not, I'm, the I'm, I'm gonna make a cut now and we'll be at the top of Logie Mountain. So, see you in a second. Be careful. Well, here we are at the top of Logie Mountain once again. Just want to show you Nep Gear skills here. It's like, on the skill set one, I've got a wind attack there. And I was expecting another wind attack to show up. That's trying to attack me all the way up here. You can't get me, mate. You can't get me. 
But as you, yeah, as you can see, I've got another fire attack, which is Flare Tornado. Which is just like, okay. A big fire skill? Well, we'll, we'll have a look at that while we're here. Right, so let's get down there and start fighting it now. As I said, though, at some point, I can't remember when I said it, but Nipgear's good for getting the guard down, basically. So let's go Flare Tornado. Let's have a look. Oh, is it like a... Yeah, it like places it on the ground. Yeah, let's get his guard down as quickly as possible. I just have to basically stay away from it until I get its guard down. Try different skills with the ice and the lightning lore. Not sure if there's anything different going on. Let's get a flare tornado under it again. Oh no, is that, does that happen in front of me? Can I do that several times? Let's put that there. Let's make sure we heal up, etc. Let's guards down. Right, so now if I put another flare tornado under it, and I put another one under it again, maybe I can spam them. And best chance to see if I put one here, will it move the other one? Yes, you can only have one. Okay. Now we know, now we know. I'll use an item. I'll use an item. Right, so let's go, 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 get your guard down again. Alright, need to move in. Oh, crap. So jumping does work on that. That was an instinctual reaction based on other games I've played that it's going to attack the ground. If I jump, I, I should be okay. It's like, yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get a chance to jump at that point. That was annoying. Right, go, go, go. Attack it like crazy. I think attacking with net gears, like normal attacks at this point, is actually better. I'm not 100%. Let's have a look. I don't know. I do get bigger hits in there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, how to then attack after I've got the guard break going, basically. Like, what do I do then? Because clearly I can get it quite fast with Netgear. But then it's like, then what? And that's the bit I don't know. I don't know how... That instinctually jumping now. You use an item. This thing is definitely harder though, isn't it? Right, let's do that and start spamming it with... I don't want to do Flare Tornado there. Oh, it still worked. It still hit it. That's fine. I planned that, don't worry. Yeah, this is much, much stronger, this thing. It's going normal attacks for now. I'm not bothering to dodge it all with Nep, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, she does little bunny hop type things. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Make sure we stay healed up, though. Right, anyway. Let's try and get this thing down already. Well, that didn't work because the, the actual sword hit me that time. Oh, I was hoping to hit it before it did anything. Am I even targeting this? It didn't feel like I was targeting it then. Oh, damn it. Oh, I wanted to get the flame thingy underneath it, the flare tornado. There we go. Alright, so we go back to Meteor Flame. That seems to be working nicely for me, Meteor Flame does. Oh, what? I dodged that. And I accidentally used an item as a result of all that. Oh, someone use an item. I got a resurrection item. Thank you. Oh god, I nearly died already again. Right, let's get my health way back up. Right, come on, meet your flame. Right, let's use it. Awaken. That tornado. I just got so much help. Still don't know the timing on this thing. Still don't know it. 
Right, let's just, just go back to what I was originally doing, which is spamming skills on it so the guard break came around rather than trying different new things because it's clearly not working, is it? Messing around with these things. Because getting the breakdown is easy. Alright, guard break should be coming. Alright, spam it. We'll go Grand Blizzard just because now. This has got it. This has got it. You're done. Lovely. I mean, I died, but lovely. I've got new costumes, by the way, if you didn't notice. I forgot to mention that. Is that it? We're done? Let's return then. Let's take a break. Indeed. Right, so... Did anything randomly appear? It's like, it's unlikely that's going to happen, because it, it is all depending on when I hand these in. I need that Philosopher's Stone, because I just used one, really, didn't I? I think the quest, huh? I, 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 I think I finished the request, huh? But where's the one that I've not done? Be careful out there. This one. Eggplants in danger. I, I need some poison spores. I can't find them. I, ju I just can't find them. I've tried all the dungeons, etc., and just... Nothing. The salesman's back. I saw the salesman. So let's go speak to the salesman. Ah, in the end, no one bought anything. But I guess it's well, how I look at it. Maybe it's a message from the heavens that I need to carefully choose who I sell it to. Yeah, this isn't just some tool anyone can buy. There's no point if it isn't a player with skills. A player that's a cut above anyone else. Also, it has to be a person who is... It. The few players that slipped through my hands so far were really incapable. I'm sure they're... They are players that didn't have that special... It. Factor. In any case, I need to polish my presentation a little more to draw people in. I admit that I'm not the most skilled at this. Who are you? Don't just... Oh, well, the fact they appeared is a bit suspicious, isn't it? Hmm. Right, so we've got some little scenes all over the place now. So let's actually start with Arbor 4. Oh, come on. I want the voice acting for R4. She does the awesome, horrible laugh. <sighs> The time has finally arrived. The first harvest of my beautiful eggplants. Yeah, but you had the eggplants on your back last time. Item cultivation rank normal. Hmm. There is no shine to this at all. I can't sell this. Did the item I use not match? Or did I incorrectly time the harvest? It is of no matter. I'll keep these to commemorate the experience and remind myself to never fail again. I will improve my process, and once I've created the ultimate eggplant, I'll mass-produce them and sell them at high prices. Her laugh that I can't duplicate. That's your plan. That that was your plan. All right, let's go speak to IF. This view's gorgeous. The first time we came here with Nep was when we played that super serious game of tag. I never really noticed the view. It really warms my heart. It's nice to have days when we don't do anything once in a while. It's so soothing. You're totally right. We started that shop to take a break from it all, but there's so much to do there. We don't have a lot of time to rest. Well, you do get a little too involved with these things, Iffy. I'm not actually getting involved with all the game elements, you know? Ah, uh, you're right. I know I don't have to collect everything 100%, but... Oh, Ify, I think our customers have been talking about a spirit who lives in this very pond. Have you heard of that? I think you can grant a wish. Uh-huh. Is that so? Well, we're already here, so let me try it out. Mm, I wish that Ify and I will be friends forever. Oh, that, that, that would happen, no doubt. I'm sure if, like, I have had a game that was devoted just to her, you would definitely be in it as her sidekick. Definitely. Definitely. Hey, Compa, that, that's embarrassing. It's nice to hear, but... 
Oh, all right. I'll do it too. I wish that Cumper and I will be friends forever. After my bike. I wish that if he will always be safe from harm. I wish that my bike will always be safe from harm, and that I can always be with Compa. I wish if he will find joy in each and every day. I wish Compa will not touch my bike and always find what always find and always be able to find her smile. I assume she just found her smile. I wish if he can always do her best at work. I wish Compa. <sighs> Compa, you're out of ammo for this wish battle, right? Let's get back to the shop. You're right, we wish for a lot of things, but I think the spirit might only grant one of them. Well, I'm sure the first one will come true, even if the spirit doesn't grant it. Indeed. Oh, alright then. Um, let's see here, let's, let's go with that. D Oh, oh my god. It's like, I was like, do, and then it was like, what? What? T channel? T channel? Where is this going? I don't care. I could leave it on the scene for quite a while. So it's, I'm assuming it's, do, 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 T channel. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's T Channel. This T Channel. This T Trivia. This game is made for me. This game was made for me. Me alone. Ten out of ten. Would T again. It's lovely. It's like I can't believe there's a T Channel in it. Anyway, it is now time for some T Trivia. However, that title call is a little strange. So let us change it next time. No. T Channel is awesome. I love it. Today's tea is candy tea leaves. Yes, it is actually spelled with a K. And no, it is not candy flavored tea, although that does exist. It is easy to drink with no fillers and can often be used in blends. It is also delicious as iced, uh, and it does not lose its flavor easily. I know you already talked about this, but all I can think about is candy. The origins of its name come from its farm, candy, is said to be the beginnings of Ceylon tea. Ceylon tea is a generic name for tea that is harvested from a t particular region, and Uva is particularly famous for its sweet scented tea. There's a tea channel in this game. That's all I'm thinking right now, this tea channel. This is the best game ever. I, I, I see. I don't really know where Ceylon is, but I definitely get an Eastern vibe from it. The question of do these lands exist within game industry is rather ill-mannered. Yes, 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 you don't bring that up, Neptune. That's all for tea trivia number one. Brought to you by me and Vert and me. Have a lovely tea time, everyone. Indeed. Indeed. There's a tea channel. There's a tea channel. There's a channel for tea in this game. There's a tea channel. Am I, am I getting this point through to you? There it is. T channel. Where's T channel? Is that T channel number two? Let's go. Huh? It seems I've gotten a private message. It's from Neptune. If you've received this message, send it to... Oh, really, Nep? Send it to three other people with the same message in three days or you become flat-chested. This is a letter of misfortune. I get... Quite the sense of nostalgia from it. However, I absolutely cannot send such a letter of misfortune to my adorable little sisters. Oh. For now, I will send this back. There's a tea channel. For now, I will send this back to Neptune as well as no to Noir and Blanc. That should suffice. There is no fun to leave the message as is, so I will rewrite it a little more positively. There. And now to send. Well, this vert is definitely better than the original Neptunia vert, where she just sent those horrible messages to their blogs. A message? It's from vert. I wonder what it is. If you receive this message, now's your chance. If you send this letter in three days to three other people, you'll gain more friends. Oh. oh what is this? Is this one of those stupid luck letters? 
If I send this out, I just lose friends instead. Just got a similar message from Neptune too, it's probably because of that. I'll change the contents and send it back to Neptune and Vert. Blan too, while I'm at it. Oh dear, it's still the same problem, isn't it? A private message from Noir too? Keep getting weird chain mail. They're not sending them to Rum and Ram, are they? Let's see, when you receive this message, read the next sentence from right to left. You may have good luck. Right to left, so backwards, huh? Our station's technology is the best in the world. Ugh. Usually I ignore something like this, but I'll... I'm taking this as a challenge. I'll rewrite this and send it back to everyone. Oh, God. They are. They're all as bad as each other. Terrible. Terrible. Anything... Any, tea, tea chat number two. Where's tea chat number two? I don't know, but we'll speak to Noir. There's a tea channel. We've already talked about online games we played before, right? Yes. We did. Oh, I didn't expect her to stop so suddenly. I actually played a lot more of the older version of Last Station's online game. I just had to stop playing, though, because I got so busy. Wow, who hasn't played that? I really wanted to play it when it came out, but our PC couldn't handle it. I, s I stared at the loading screen for so long. By the time Nepgear got a souped-up PC, the game had a bunch of hardcore players and I already moved on to a console MMO. C'est la vie. <laughs> the game was ported to our consoles in Last Station, you know. You should have had one of our consoles, then you wouldn't have missed out. I'm assuming this is Final Fantasy XI. It's nostalgic to think about. I distinctly remember the person I was in a guild with, who was so very sweet. Both of our avatars were guys, too. I knew it was Noir! Both of our avatars were guys, too. And I'm pretty sure the other person was a girl. I mean... I was completely pretending to be a guy, so maybe the reason she was so nice was because she fell in love with me. But, I mean, I'm just kidding. We were just two friends and it wasn't weird or anything. We just liked to hang out online like normal people. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Vert and Noir. Uh-huh. Sounds like the other person was probably thinking the same thing, but... I guess I can't say much since I wasn't there. Yeah, but you do know the other side. Nep's face right now, it almost feels like she has figured it out. I was a smart, cool-looking guy with silver hair. Oh, now she's definitely going to figure it out. And she was a tall, sweet blonde. We looked like the leads of some manga or anime. And we looked good. I really liked the guy outfits in that game too. But like, I don't know. I, I never cosplayed as a guy at an event either. Huh? A tall blonde and a guy with silver hair. And you know, she knew a lot about games and manga, but it was more than that. She really loved the content. It was just so fun to talk to her. I felt really bad not talking to her. I just got too busy to even get online. I wonder if I ever cross her mind. I hope she's been well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like this story sounds really familiar. Is something wrong, Neptune? What's on your mind? I, 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 well, nothing. It's nothing at all. Oh dear, oh dear, Noir and Vert. Well, so what have we got now? Nothing from the looks of it. Well, let, let, let me go have a look at the guild then. Hey there, good timing. Just now a very important quest has been posted. Oh my. Ooh, this is a quest to find a sacred treasure, isn't it? Well, of course. Yep, no doubt about it. It's a report from an archaeological research team that just returned from the ruins. So they finally found the location of one of the missing sacred treasures. But weren't the knights investigating the sacred treasures? While they were conducting an excavation in the Onero Corridor, they stumbled upon the boss monster who took the treasure. The Onero Corridor, you say? The monsters wandering nearby are obstructing the excavation, too. They thought to ask some adventurers to defeat them and the boss in one go. The researchers won't claim any rights to the sacred treasure. Their desire is for the Chosen One to wield it. Or so they say. I see. Still, it seems like the Black Knights don't ever get a chance to shine. Well, I'd 
appreciate it if the paladins tried a little harder. I guess we won't have any problems as long as we try our best. Yeah, that's true. You know, I feel like a mage guild doesn't even show up in the story. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it doesn't seem to be any other mages other than Nepgear. Blog? What's archaeology? It's a science where you search ruins for objects ancient people used to see how they lived. Louis has old pipes and castles, right? Yeah, I wonder why. Oh yeah, I've seen those. They search for old coins and fossilized mushrooms, stuff like that. Fossilized mushrooms. I wonder if there are coins in the ruins of this world. Sparkle. Sparkle. <laughs> How adorable. I would love to have a study session with Bouquet someday. It is, it's entirely possible. For now, I will hold those thoughts close to my heart. There's a tea channel. If there is a research team, then there must be a treasure set within the dungeon. Uni, let us search for the treasure together. Yay, Uni! It's finally time for the thief to shine! I'd be happier if there were rare metals instead of coins lying around, though. Yeah, I hope we can find good materials to upgrade our weapons. Okay, let's hurry and accept the quest now. Well, of course. Oh, there's also a delivery quest for research materials. Does that mean we should give items aside from the treasure to the research team? We may do so when it is absolutely necessary. You know what to do otherwise, everyone. Hey, I'm not telling you what to do or anything. But this isn't gonna end with you guys leaving nothing for the research team, right? N maybe Oh, fade out. Welcome to the guild. Alright then, what we got, what we got. So, corridor monsters. While excavating a Nerio corridor, I saw the monster that stole the sacred treasure. We can get a pudding, which is a gun. Okay, so it's not for Nep. Alright, if you get it back, you can have it. Just make sure to defeat the monsters in the area too. Well, of course. Of course. You've accepted right, the quest. so we're going to end this part here. And in the next part, we're going to be heading off to the Anerio Corridor. So we'll see you then. Ta-da for now. There's a T-Channel. <laughs>